it really came down to the opportunity, like you said. He, um, you know, he obviously he said there's a chance for you to play, chance for you to start right away. Um, you know, and really for me at this point in time in my career, that's what I was looking for. Art is somebody that's always been there for me. He's always shot me straight, and um, you know, I knew what I was getting into, what kind of culture he's building here. Um, so that's why I'm excited to be here because I really do believe in art and I believe what he's doing. What's up, YouTube? I'm back with another video. Today, I got you guys with some NFL content. I know lately I've been posting a lot of NBA videos, but today I got you guys with some um, NFL content. We're going to talk about the Atlanta Falcons. We're going to talk about, um, you know, Desmond Ryder, the backup quarterback from Cincinnati, which was a, he was a great quarterback in college, by the way. Um, but it's going to be a lot of competition. You know, a lot of competition is going on. We're seeing the same thing happening in Pittsburgh. Um, you know, we're seeing a lot of competition throughout the league and the future quarterback. So, um, as of today, is looking like that's the situation in Atlanta. Uh, with the departure of uh, Matt Ryan, um, you know, it's, it's, sh it's just shell-shocking. You know, when you have a quarterback for, you know, 12-plus years, um, it's shell-shocking when this player leaves. And now you have to figure out the pieces on, um, you know, how can we re-ramp this offense? How can we... Um, you know, find our next franchise quarterback. And it takes teams decades. You know, this is, you know, the quarterback is the harder position and it takes teams decades. And um, it looks like Mar Marcus Mariota is going to have um, an opportunity to be a starter for the NFL. I mean, this was something that we've been talking about ever since he, um, you know, departed from Tennessee. Like, will he ever get to that point where he can be a starting quarterback ever again? Um, and just looking at where when he was with the Raiders, um, it didn't really look possible, you know, being behind Derek Carr. But, I mean, as far as, um, you know, the Falcons, um, they passed up on a lot of picks. With their draft picks, they passed up on a lot of quarterbacks. So it looks like, you know, the Falcons really had their idea on Marcus Mariota. Um, and I also think that the Falcons are, you know, you know they're going to save their draft pick for the future to draft, um, you know, a future good quarterback in the next class, you know. But <laughs> um, but we're, with this writer kid, um, I'm hearing a lot of great things about him as well. Um, you know, this is, a, you know, I'm hearing that this kid likes to study hard. He likes to work hard. You know, he's a football, um, you know, monk <laughs> per se. They say, you know, he's a, um, you know, he's obsessed with the game of football. So it looks like, you know, Marcus Mariota, he has some friendly competition going. You know, I think they're really going to learn off of each other. But as far as Marcus Mariota, I mean, he came in as the second overall pick in 2015. He was a Heisman winner in Oregon. Um, you know, in his first five seasons, he's passed for over 13,000 yards. Um, and it, and he also played with his quarterback now, Arthur Smith. You know, this was his coach when he was playing in Tennessee. So um, it looks like a lot of trust, a lot of trust is already built because of the you know their previous history, and that's why Marcus Mariota has also gotten this opportunity playing with the Falcons because Arthur you know railed him into this opportunity. So it looks like Mar Mariota is going to have another chance, you know, and. Um, you know, just the way he kind of went out with Tennessee, you know, it, it didn't really look so good for him, um, you know, and that's how, you know, he, he lost his job to Ryan Tannenhill, um, you know, he didn't really play good um, in his last season with the uh, with Tennessee, um, you know, he, he led that team to two and four, and uh, they had to cut ties, but, um, you know, but fast forward, man, here we go, you know, fast forward a couple years later, like I said, I mean, he's at a point where he can really make, uh, you know, become a franchise quarterback, um, you know, just kind of looking at this roster, I mean, he doesn't have much to work with, but looking at what the Falcons has done with drafting um, Drake London, I think that's going to be a really good piece for Marcus Mariota. Um, and then I'm even just looking at running back um, Cardell Patterson. He was he had a really good um, year last year. I had him in fantasy. Um, he's a really good runner. Uh, I'm seeing, uh, you know, he put up some really good stats last year, but him in the backfield, I think will help out Mariota. Um, maybe try to get some wild wildcat offense going. Um, I definitely want to see what schemes are the Falcons going to do with Mariota. But uh, with um, with Cordell Patterson, he's a weapon. He this guy is a speedster. And then you know, obviously the Falcons getting Kyle Pitts last year. Kyle Pitts, um, you know, he's performed like he's shown us that he's going to be a top tight end for the next um, couple years to come. So I think. Mariota has some pieces to work with, but at the same time, I know like this Falcons team, I mean, there's really no expectations. I mean, I don't think the Falcons are going to win in their division. I don't think they're going to um, make, I don't think they're going to be able to compete for the playoffs. Um, I'm hope I'm wrong, but Mariota is in a position where it's all about his leadership. Because to me, I think Mariota, the talent is there. Um, you know, his his, uh, his throw motion, his foot mechanics, 
Um, you know, I just like how he's mobile. He could be dynamic. He can extend plays and, you know, be able to. I just think his problem is being able to avoid sacks. Um, I don't think he's, um, you know, his awareness is kind of in question. But um, other than that, I think he has the arm talent. Um, you know, he has the talent to be a starting quarterback, but he just has to get the opportunity. So Arthur Smith sees a lot in him. So um, there's a lot to look out for with the Atlanta Falcons. But at the same time, this is all just an experiment, <laughs> you know, because the Falcons, you know, in the future, I'm sure they're going to draft, you know, that future franchise quarterback if they're not sold on Mariota. But this Ryder kid, I'm also, um, you know, he might get his opportunity as well. Um, I think he just has to prove himself. That's what Arthur Smith said. You know, he can he would only start Ryder if he proves himself to, that he can be a starter. So I don't know if that means maybe throughout preseason we may see a battle. But as of right now, it looks like Mariota may be the front runner to win that starting position, and um, and you know just revamp this offense and, and revamp his relationship with Arthur Smith as well. Um, you know, a coaching and a coach and a and a quarterback. You know, that relationship is is it runs deep. You know, um, because the coach expects his leader to get his team prepared and get his team ready. And uh, Mariota, that's going to be his challenge. You know, can he get guys to play hard? Um, can he get guys to want to play for him? So those are just the question marks. And um, but as far as Mariota, I mean, the only flaw the flaw I will say about him as well is sometimes he can do too much. Um, you know, I just think Mariota, he just needs to, you know, be more within the playbook and uh, read defenses, being out, being able to see coverages, um, you know, stuff like that. Because a lot of interceptions that he's thrown in his career are just, if you look at the film, it's just like he's not looking, um, you know, if he, he's not looking up the field and he's not reading defenses. So um, that's a huge step for what it takes to be a quarterback. But with that being said, guys, I don't want to make this video too lengthy. Until next time, guys, I'm going to hear your guys' opinion on Marcus Mariota or how do you feel about um, you know, Ryder possibly being a starter for this team. I mean, I want to hear you guys' as fans' um, perspective, especially Atlanta fans. <laughs> I want to hear you guys' opinion. But until next time, guys, uh, have a good one. Peace.